My name is Rob Greenfield. I'm an adventurer and environmental activist and just generally a guy trying to live a good life and make a positive difference on the world around me while I'm here on Earth. The reason I'm doing this project right now of growing and foraging 100% of my food for a year is because I believe that our current globalized industrialized food system is destroying the very world that I love and that everybody around me loves. And I want to, first of all, learn. Is it possible for us in the 21st century in a Western society to grow all of our own food and to work with nature rather than against it? And I, at the same time, want to show an alternative to this destructive system that we have going now and show people this is a different way and inspire people not to grow and forage 100% of their food, but to take some small steps to start to grow a little bit, to plant one seed, to plant one fruit tree in their front yard, to join their community garden, to go to the local farmers market and support local farmers. That's what it's about. I do sort of extreme things with the intentions of inspiring people and educating them and getting, but getting them to, to join me on this adventure in life. I just made it past the halfway point of this year. Today's around day 195. And so far I have learned an incredible amount. I mean, when I started this project, I didn't know how much water a carrot seed needed, how much sun you should put on your garden. You know, just the absolute basics of growing food. I was pretty clueless. And after 10 months of preparing, I got to the point where I could now be growing and foraging 100% of my food. So the amount of knowledge that I have in my head today compared to when I started preparing for this is unfathomable. And to me, that's really special because in this short period of time, in a place that was unfamiliar to me, I went from 0% to 100%. And I think that's pretty powerful as to what we can do together as a community. The ability to turn our yards into gardens, to, to start community gardens together, to plant fruit trees all through our communities. I am pretty excited by what I've seen so far and what is possible if we come together. I think for people that are wanting to get out of the rat race, you know, are feeling stuck. One of the biggest suggestions I can give is not necessarily what people would think of. It's just to stop worrying what people think about you. Because so much of what is trapping ourselves is trying to impress other people, to, to having possessions that we think will make us look better to others, to spending time on our clothes and our, our personal looks to impress anyone, whether it's our co-workers, our friends, our, our family. And if we can drop all that and we can stop looking at life through a lens of what will other people think and instead a lens of what what do I want? What will make me happy? What will make me healthy? What will make me live in the service of, of my community and humanity? It changes everything. Simply looking at life through how can I be of benefit to the world instead of what will people think about me? And that changes everything. It frees ourselves from ourselves. And that's for me the biggest breakthrough that I ever had was just when I said it doesn't matter what people think anymore. I'm just going to do what I feel is right. I don't, I don't have a mission statement per se, but my mission is pretty simple. To try to live a good life while I'm here and to try to have a positive impact on the world around me. I'm not trying to save the whole world. I don't live in this delusion that I think that I can fix all the world problems or that even if, you know, even if most of my friends and everybody I knew come together that we could fix all the problems. But I do think that together we can make our communities a better place, we can improve our own lives, we can improve the lives of many of the species that are around us, and I think that's worth it. So my mission is really just 
use my time wisely while I'm on earth and, and try to, you know, live in a way where I can wake up feeling good and I can go to bed feeling good and I can be proud when I die of the life that I lived.